This is page 265 from the Little Book of Revelation, received by William Alexander Brooks. More details in the description. Let's begin. The sea represents Gentile nations. The false Noah had laws already state that Christianity, Christianity is idolatrous and prescribes beheading as punishment. These laws are in place and will be ruthless, ruthlessly enforced. And those who call on the name of the Lord to the end shall be saved, for it is written, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And so will your future be, my tribulation saints, for I will yet save Jacob and all who call on my mighty name in whatever language they call. The beast from the earth, who is also the false prophet, will rule Israel, and he will rule the world from the promised land, but not the people of God, not the Israel of God, for you are the Israel of God. Even the children of the Most High, who are sealed with the seal of the Most High God, and Yahweh's seal cannot be broken. And a great multitude will come out of Jacob's trouble, and will take their rightful places among the Israel of God, for both Judean and Gentile will be saved, and will be one new man, for I will recreate them in me at the resurrection of the just. My children, the synagogue of Satan has prepared their rule, and they have no remorse. You are two-legged animals to them, for they follow the blasphemous Babylonian Talmud, a book that is from Satan and not Yahweh. For Israel turned from Yahweh long ago when they rejected me, and Yeshua the Nazarene and I will yet save my people. These are the same types of terrors where I told their fathers when I told them plainly, you are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father you will do. He has been a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, then he speaks of his own, for he is a liar, and the father thereof. Understand, my children, that Dan is a lion's whelp, and Dan has no representation in the 144,000. These tares eagerly await their temple builder, and they already recognize him as their king. The beast from the earth is the one who brings the mark of the beast. Even Operation War Seed, that has now been tried and perfected for distribution and enforcement by the death for those who refuse. The earth represents the land of promise. My children, quit believing the lies of those who do not speak for me, for I did not send them. My true prophets speak in unison, and there are many, and they do not contradict each other, nor scripture, for I am the word made flesh. These two evil beasts do not receive their power from some corrupt church father, but the dragon himself for the dragon is the devil. Understand that Christianity will have no play at all because all false churches are judged and destroyed for judgment begins at the house of God. And my true church, even my called faithful and chosen, will be taken into the heavens to receive the rewards and begin their eternity. And I'll stop there. Please take these words to our Father Yahweh in prayer and ask him if these are words from him. Time is short. I pray a blessing upon all of you. Have a great day.